Pluto <laughs> presents The Shadow, the man of mystery who strikes terror in the very hearts of sharpsters, lawbreakers, and criminals. Today, the Temple Bells of Nebar. Friends, if you want to be sure that the fuel you get to heat your home this winter is safe, healthy, and economical fuel, then by all means, buy Blue Coal, the finest of Pennsylvania hard coal. Remember, this superior quality anthracite has been colored a harmless blue at the mines so that you can recognize it at a glance. So take the guesswork out of your fuel buying. Get America's finest anthracite. Ask for Blue Coal by name. Order a supply tomorrow. The bell, Shadow, the bells of Nita. They will reveal you. Your third mistake, Sadi, and your last. <laughs> no, it is your mistake and your last. This is the end of your career as the shadow. Well, Margo, we make this a large evening. A couple of hours at the club, Caleb. Does that intrigue you? It's lovely. It must be late. I have an appointment at 10 in the morning at the women's club. They're trying to get some action on this terrible narcotic situation. Oh, yes, I read about that. And the stuff being peddled all over town. They found school children using it, society women. Why, it's already caused a half dozen suicides. Yes, I know. It's terrible stuff. Oh, it needs the shadow to get at the bottom of it. Yes, I know, dear, but for tonight, I I do enjoy just being myself. Lamont Cranston, Villaton. Let's be the shadow only in real emergency. Mm-hmm. You know, the... They tell me there's a lovely Indian dancer at this new club, Kulis. Indian dancer? Mm-hmm. You know, there's the place just there. Club Kulis, driver. Yes, sir. Lamont, you are going to do something about it. You've started already. Perhaps. Well, here we are. All right, driver. Hey, what? Thank you, sir. Oh, that looked like young Jerry Gleason just going in. Yes? Yeah. I was that young man's father. I thank him and keep him home occasionally. Well, son of a wealthy sire. Mm. Here, let me have your coat. I'll check it with mine. Good evening, Jerry. Oh, oh hello, Miss Lane. The father and sister well? I haven't seen him lately. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't wait right now. I've got to see someone, and it's important. I'm sorry. Uh, but Jerry... Hello. I don't know. He seems awfully upset about something. He doesn't look well either. Pale and shaky. Mm, you're right, he doesn't. Something curious about that boy. Well, let's go in. <laughs> May I show you to a table, sir? Yeah, take this table by the dance floor, thank you. Oh, there's someone getting up to speak. We seem to just in time for the main attraction. Well, aren't we? Ladies and gentlemen. We take pleasure in presenting the fascinating and beautiful dancer of the Far East, Sadi Bel Ada. For our first number tonight, she will give you the dance of the cobra. Sadi Bel Ada. Look, isn't she lovely? Yes. Real thing, too. Real Hindu. Hmm. It's odd, you know. Goodness. Look, she's taking a snake out of that little bag. A live cobra. Oh, heaven. You know, the cobra is connected with the old Indian mysticism, the most ancient of magic. See how she quiets the snake, makes it sway to the motion of a hand. Mm. It's a form of mesmerism. We've never improved on that with all our modern psychology. I hope it's been removed. Well, they undoubtedly have. So, 
This is the one they call Sadi Bel Adda. Jerry Gleason with that strange look in his eyes. An epidemic of narcotic smuggling. Sadi Bel Adda. Oh, how graceful she is. <laughs> she keeps looking over here, Lamont. Yes. She's coming this way. Well. She's in here for the beautiful lady, side. Oh, Oh, a bracelet. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, fair lady. Ah, you know the tongue of Mother India, sir. Only enough to make a small prayer. Only enough for that. Sadi bel Adda. It is good sometimes to know a small prayer. Hmm. Just in case of an emergency? Yes. You are very wise, sir. In case you should meet someone who could destroy you, sir. I see. Bella, just what did she mean by that? I don't know exactly. Funny something. She seems to know something about me. I'm trying to recall where I've seen that face. <laughs> Look, she's stopping at the table by the door. Why, it's young Jerry Gleason. She handed him something. Good Lord. He's going up with her. What's the matter? It just struck me, Margot. That boy's face. The color of his skin. You mean drugs? Yes. The poppy of India. Oh, but not Jerry Gleason. Oh, that'd be too awful. And our old friend, Terry Gleason, his aunt, who's tried so hard at fear and straight since his mother died, it would just about kill her. Come, Margot. We must do something. We're more. going to. I did come here tonight with a vague idea that this Indian dancer might have some connection with the thing. With her veiled threats and Jerry's interest in her, I'm pretty sure but now. What are you going to do? I think the shadow will pay a call on Sadi Bellada in her dressing room. I think the shadow can strike back. Sonny? Sadi. Yes? Uh, can anyone overhear us here in your dressing room? Oh, no. What do you want, Alex? A message from the captain. What then? Tomorrow is the day. The police are getting closer. We sail tomorrow night. At eight. I am not afraid of the police. But there is somebody else I am not sure about. You took care of Jerry Gleason? I gave him his medicine and sent him home. But you bring him tomorrow night? Do not fear, Alexis. Jerry will be with me when we sail. Hmm. I have a way to let him know. Good. But the air blows from that window. Close it, Alexis. Well, too bad we have to terminate. The grand success of Sadi Bel Adam. The club caliph? Yes. But as the Americans say, business is business, yes. <laughs> and we still have a small business with the rich papa, Jerry Gleason. <laughs> no doubt the richest part of our business, sweet Sadie. <laughs> the rich men will pay well. <laughs> <laughs> Who laughs? Where are you? Speak. I am here, in the shadow, but I'm afraid you can't see me. Speak, and say who you are. Have you never heard of the shadow? Oh, the shadow? So it is you. Have I not somewhere in the past? seen your face and known your name. 
I think so. Uh, did you enjoy yourself tonight? I warn you, Sadi Bellata. Leave the Gleason boy alone. The boy to whom you give the evil drug. I have no fear of you, Shadow Side. I hold a greater power. I hold the power of the temple bells of Neba. Uh, you command the temple bells of Neban, do you? Yes. Either you lie, or you desecrate a great gift. Put your strength against mine, my Defandi, and you will see how I desecrate that gift. I can cast your little spells aside and make them nothing. I can kill you. Kill me? The Shadow Sadi? Yes. If you dare to come to me again, will you come? Who could refuse such an invitation? Especially when made by so charming a lady as yourself. Yes, I will come. And be sure you don't mistake my voice when I do come. Sadi Bellada. <laughs> well, what is it, Sergeant? Uh, excuse me, Commissioner. Old man Gleason is outside and insists he's got to see you. Gleason? You mean Andrew Gleason? Sure, the big Wall Street banker, friend of the mayor. Shall I let him come in? Or... All this blamed efficiency where it doesn't do any good. I want to see you, Commissioner. All right, Mr. Gleason. What the devil is this town coming to? Well, if you'll tell me what you're getting at. My I... boy is what I'm getting at. He's lying home there with the worst case of delirium premiums I ever saw. Spent the night sopping up liquor in these rotten honky tonks. Mr. Gleason, if you think the police department's going around playing wet nurse to all the spoiled kids in this town... Is this what you came to see me about, Mr. Gleason? It certainly is. Well, I happen to have more important things on my mind right now. Then you better get this on your mind. Because if you don't, I'll see to it that there's somebody here who does. And I can do it. Good day to you. Well, seems like this was a busy day, sir. What with uh, drunken college boys and millionaires. This is another of those... Uh, Commissioner Weston speaking. <laughs> Why, you, you... Don't lose your patience, Commissioner. The Shadow has information that may help you. Young Jerry Gleason is becoming a drug addict. What? Yes. A victim of this flood of drugs being peddled on our streets. It might cost you your job. Are you interested... Commissioner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting for the shadow to return, I want to relay a bit of information I'm sure homeowners here in the New England states will find particularly interesting. When buying your winter supply of fuel, bear this in mind. Anthracite coal is unequaled for home use. It is not a flashy fuel that burns furiously for a little while, then dies down completely. On the contrary, folks, anthracite burns slowly, steadily, evenly, all day long, and so enables you to maintain an even, healthful room temperature. That's why anthracite is called the solid fuel for solid comfort. And friends, remember this. Furnaces, cook stoves, and space heaters in this section of the country were especially designed to burn anthracite. So, insist on anthracite, but get the best. Order Blue Coal. It's America's finest. Blue Coal is mined by the Glen Alden Company, the world's largest producers of Pennsylvania anthracite. To guarantee you the greatest heating satisfaction at the lowest cost, Blue Coal is laboratory tested for purity and uniformity of size. So you see, friends, there's no need to take chances on unknown fuels. 
Order Blue Coal today. You will find the name of your nearest Blue Coal dealer listed in the Where to Buy It section of your classified telephone directory under the name Blue Coal. Shadow this time will get beyond his We shall see, Margot. We shall see who is stronger. Sadi and the bells of Nabon. Or the shadow. Show them. They 
you think they can keep me a prisoner in my own house? Putting me to bed as if I was some half-grown kid. What? What's that? Is it you, Sadie? Yes. My voice in your thoughts. Listen, Jerry. Come to me at the dock where we met before. Your medicine is waiting. Yes. Yes. Go aboard the ship I told you about. The Elbora Castle. Yes, we're getting on the way now. We've got the boys stowed safely below, below decks. And the rest of the medicine? Oh, we got rid of that. What was left of it. A nice clean-up for all hands, not counting this Gleason job. That'll net us another hundred thousand, or nothing. Well, we're fixed whichever way the dice roll. And after that, we live like kings, without a care, yes? Not even a conscience. To bother you. What? Sadie. He has come. I was afraid. Who said that? I did, Captain. <laughs> so you're the one with your trick ghost talk and magic, eh? I'll make a shadow out of you soon enough. Not that way, Captain. No? Here, lock that door, Max. It is locked, Captain Mallet. But but the porthole. No one can get through those. Not even a shadow. <laughs> now, save your laugh, whoever you are. We've got you. You're in this cabin somewhere, and this ship is outward bound. Last battle. I think you may have made three mistakes, Captain. One too many. Yes. Yes, Captain. But I do not make mistakes, sir. That remains to be seen, Sadi Bellada. Then you will see. And me the wicker basket, Alex. Hey, what are you going to do? Yes, Daddy. I call the temple bells of Niban, Captain. The shadow has the power to blind your eyes. A trick he learned in India from a yogi who was my uncle. But I have a better trick. When the last bell sounds while the sacred cobra dances, you will see the shadow... Only as a man. Be ready to shoot, Captain. I'm ready. And now, my cobra, 
to dance with the bells of Nida. I wouldn't open that basket if I were you, Sadi Bellada. You watch my pretty cobra, Sad. He may find you even before the captain's bullet. You will die just as quickly. <laughs> Dead cobras are better playthings than live ones. Bismillahi Ramani Rahim. Make your small prayer, Sad. And now, my pretty one, begin to dance. Be careful, Sunny Bell. The cobra moves towards you. My own pretty cobra. He knows me. You hear the bell, Shadow? The temple bells of Niban? I hear them. When the last bell strikes, we shall see our prisoner. And I am waiting for that minute. But study the cobra. Look out, he's going to strike. Alexis, Captain. Quick, drop the basket over Alexis. Kill it. The shadow warned you, Sadi Pelada. You take credit for this too, do you? No. Sadi should have known it was not her cobra in the wicker basket. It was mine. She's dead. Captain Allen, the police, the border. No, please, Captain Mullen, you do not shoot. Stand back here, drop that gun. I'll fix him. Put the bracelets on both of them, Sergeant. Right. Huh. Dope smugglers, kidnappers, and from the looks, murderers. <laughs> this time, the police were too smart for you. Oh, decidedly. Huh? Who's that? Thanks for coming, Commissioner. You were very helpful. <laughs> and now, before today's adventure with the shadow comes to a close, John Barclay, Blue Coal's own heating expert, is here tonight to give us another of his practical talks on automatic heating. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Barclay. Good evening, friends. Last week, we discussed the importance of uniformly heated homes in avoiding cold. I told you how home temperatures could be kept uniform and automatically controlled with a blue coal heat regulator. I explained that the cost was only $18.95 plus a small installation charge. Now for a word about the convenience of this blue coal heat regulator. With one of these automatic regulators in your home, it is no longer necessary for you to adjust dampers by hand. The regulator eliminates need for frequent attention to the furnace. What do you have to do, Mr. Barclay? You simply tend to your furnace once in the morning and once at night. Just think of that, friends. You can enjoy the comfort and convenience of an evenly heated home, and yet you can come and go all day long without a thought or worry about the fire. Is it any wonder I'm so enthusiastic about the blue coal heat regulator? And two, although it costs only $18.95, it does about everything that the elaborate and much more expensive equipment does that many of your friends have. So, folks, why not get to your blue coal dealer tomorrow and ask him more about this blue coal heat regulator? At the same time, if you have any heating problems, discuss them with your blue coal dealer, too. He is the best informed heating expert in your community. With the assistance of his John Barclay trained serviceman, he will be able to save you money and help make your home more comfortable this winter than ever before. I thank you. The story you have just heard is copyrighted by The Shadow Magazine. 
The characters in this story are entirely fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Arthur Whiteside. 